name is Michael Johnson, and I'm also known as Lil Mike. Hi, I'm Mike Ripley, uh, also known as Big Mike. Uh, before being involved in Big Brothers and Big Sisters, Michael was very um, uncontrollable. He uh, had problems at school. Michael had just moved in with me, having never been around his dad. I had been incarcerated for a number of years, approximately 20 to 23 years. He knew who I was, but never being involved with me. When it came to disciplinary things, I knew that I needed help in, in making the right choices and decisions. Before I met Big Mike, I was always angry. My dad was never around. Dad was never around. When he was around, I didn't want to be around him. Didn't like to talk to him. I was told a little bit about, you know, that Michael had some anger issues and um, definitely had some attention issues at school. I didn't care about school. Didn't care about my future. Sometimes I felt guilty, the other times I replaced the guilt with more anger. He was out of control to the point where Michael had to be placed in a behavioral center. I just didn't want my son to have to endure violence and incarceration that I went through. When I was able to be there with Michael, I created a, a safe place for him to be, just to be him. And for me, just the things that I've learned about me, the things that I've learned about being a, a husband to my wife, uh, the things that I've learned about being a parent, which is you know imminent in my life, all of those things are enriching in ways that, you, again, you just you can't get that on your own. To have um, the, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry thinking about this. Um, to have the person there to show me how I needed to get better, and uh, how do you not love somebody like that? You know, how do you not love somebody like that? Michael says, I know that God put us together because who else would it be but you and me? And of course I, you know, cried like a baby and pretended that the wind was in my eyes or something like that. But but it was that was a moment where you know, I'm I have a deep faith and and I really believe that God is working in our lives all the time. And there was no question to me that we were certainly placing I mean this was an act of God that allowed us to become a, you know, a family. I mean, this is my younger brother. This is the person that that I'm in his life because God wants us to do something. So the relationship between Edward, Michael's father, and Michael and me, it's like a dual big brother, dual son role. We really just love to do things together, just to be out and doing whatever. I know this might sound a little silly, but we love to drive around and look at cars. We've gone to Cedar Point. We even took Michael's dad. That was a wild ride. My dad was the first one to get tired of riding roller coasters. I guess one of the roller coasters made him feel sick. All the shaking and rocking around on him. Me and Big Mike we rode the power tower like 10 times in a row. Gone to the Jake's Day at the Isaac Walton League. Riding go-karts. We love to go to sports games. We've been to Pacers games. We've been to monster truck rallies. We go out to eat. We eat a lot. A lot, a lot. One of my goals was just to show him how to love life for the reason of just loving life. Michael will succeed in life because of his big brother and because of the Big Brothers and Big Sisters program. Four or five years ago, he was doing terrible in school. Michael really had a bad situation in school. Uh, his education has improved tremendously. From the day that I met him till today, you can see that Michael has a personality that is very much his own. He's helped me to mature, show respect, to care about school and the people around me. He asked me one time, and this is probably the, uh, it was probably one of the most emotional things that we ever went through, but he he said to me, Big Mike, when, when our match ends at 18, are we, are we still gonna you know, see each other? And I said, you know, I can't imagine why we would stop seeing each other now that we're family. And I meant it. I mean, uh, you know, my first child is due the end of this year, and Michael already said, well, maybe I can be a big brother to your, your kid someday. And I said, you already are. So I think the future is bright for him and for us. Since Big Mike has came in, into our lives, 
Our lives have changed drastically. We've become closer. His attitude, his behavior. Wonderfully polite and ambitious um, and big dreams. He wants to fix the whole world. It's a direct result of Big Mike being in our life. I want you to understand, Big Mike is our family now. If I was to pass today, my son got somebody to go to. He got somebody that's going to be in his life until the day Big Mike passed away.